Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is Kusto playlist and it is part 13th of Kusto playlist. In this video, we will be focusing on print operator in Kusto query language. So what is this print operator? How to use it? When we can use it? All these kind of things we will understand with small example in the Kusto query language. So before watching this video, as I always mention, please watch Azure Data Explorer playlist and also previous videos in the Kusto playlist so that you will get most out of it. So you will understand like what we are exactly doing it or else you will not make sense it. So and you know that right Kusto query language will help you to query the data which is there in the Azure Data Explorer clusters. Okay, so basically it's not a SQL server. So don't get confused. So there is a if you see all the ADX playlist at least three four videos you will get an idea about it. So let's try to understand about this print statement or print operator in the Kusto query language and how it will work with a simple example basically. So as I mentioned here from the documentation, it says that print statement or print operator will output a single row. So when you execute any print operator in the Kusto query language, it will give you single row with one or more scalar expressions as columns. That means if you supply some scalar values that will be resulted as columns in the output as a single row only one row you will get it so this is the syntax print then column name then use a scalar expressions it will go on so if this is not making sense don't worry i will explain you with an example now so let's go to kusto explorer here and in the kusto explorer in the kusto explorer this is how you can write the print uh, operator here. So let me remove this example first and let me make you sense like I have already connected to some help cluster in my Kusto Explorer and you know this from my previous videos how to do it. Okay. So now here what I am doing, I am going to use a print statement and here to the print statement, I am just supplying some values, maybe a then comma then B. So let's R and then C. Let's assume. So I supplied three values here. So these three values are scalar values, some static values. Now if I execute this statement and if I see the result, you can see it gave me a single row with these values like A, B, C and all these values came as a columns, right? And column names came like print 0, 1, 2. So since I have not defined any column name here, by default, it will take the column names as print 0, 1 and 2. Now for some reason, I want to give column names to it. So for this column, I want to give column 1. Then what you do before your scalar value, mention your column name, then equals to then the scalar value. Now if I execute it, you can see here the value A comes under column 1 and the other columns remain same. So what I can do, I can use column names for other scalar values as well. So let me try to use the same here. And now let's try to execute this query. So we got a output table which contains three columns, column one, two and three. The reason is we have three scalar values here as I am showing it here. And it will generate only single row. So once it will generate to make you sense, for example, you want to treat it like a temporary table within the query, then what you do here is use let statement. Let operator, we haven't discussed that. We will discuss in our upcoming videos. Uh, I'm just saying like let table one equals to this print output. So that means this table will come and be available inside this variable for, for you to access in the subsequent query. So here what I will do from table one, we already know project operator how it will work, right? So let me use project operator and let me get only column one comma column two. So now if I execute this entire Kusto query, it is going to generate a table with these three columns into this variable. And then using this variable as a tabular input, I am projecting only two columns. So let me execute this query and let's see the results. See, we got only column one and column two. So like this, print statement or print operator will work to generate a single row output table with scalar expressions as multiple columns. That's it in this video. I hope you understand how the print operator will work in Kusto query language. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.